Am I recording? Hi guys! So it's me and Kaya's in my lap. You can't. Hold on, let's say hi. <gasps> say hi! <laughs> She's eating little gummy snacks, but if I keep touching like the screen, it's because for some reason the lighting is good if it refocuses on my like area. But then after it gets out of focus again, it like, I don't know, it gets like my face gets all washed out. But anyways, I thought I would do the sweater weather tag. Sweater weather tag. Sweater, 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 sweater. See, look, I'm out of focus. I'm washed out again. Oh, even more washed out. Does that work? Okay, well, I'm just going to be washed out for this video. I wanted to do the sweater, sweater weather tag. I saw this initially done on Miss Glamorazzi. She's a beauty guru. I don't actually, I've never really watched any of her videos until recently and I only did that because uh, a friend of mine talks about her all the time and I wanted to see this my face is just too washed out for my liking I can't do it what if I touch my eyeball oh if I touch my eyeball it goes back okay and my friend talks about her all the time and so I wanted to kind of check her out and I'm kind of upset that I looked at her videos because now I want to go out and buy stuff which as you guys know we're fiscal fasting right now for the month so I'm not allowed to buy anything and it's like oh there's sweaters that I now want. This seemed like an easy tag and I know a Wild Riley Appears did it as well um, and I love fall so I thought I would do the fall sweater weather tag. There's 15 questions, uh, this should be pretty easy. The first question is favorite candle scent. Right now my favorite candle scent isn't actually a candle, it is a Scentsy uh, wax. As you guys know I sell Scentsy if you want details. Click the link underneath this video. But I have it burning in every single warmer in my house, it's autumn sunset. It smells so good, it's like a combination of, it's like mm, fruity, but not like the normal fruits, like a berry fall fruit with cinnamon, with spices. Cinnamon is a spice, Kelly. But it's just very fall, like when you think fall and just homey, that's what it smells like. So my whole house smells like that right now. Coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? I am all three, but if I had to choose, I would say, which this is gonna shock some of you, tea. Because tea I can drink all day, all night long, it's very calming. Right now I'm really obsessed with, I believe it's Celestial Seasonings um, Echinacea Complete Care Sleepy Time flavor. It's so good, it's so good for me, and when I feel sick or icky or whatever, um, I drink some of that and it warms me up. I do like coffee and hot chocolate though, but if I had to choose, I would, like, I would pick tea. What's the best fall memory you have? Honestly, I don't know. I would say the f best fall memory I've ever had would be the fall, the summer that I met, the fall after I met my husband um, when we were dating, because that was a time where me and him were really getting to know each other. We had met in like September, and so it was just a really fun time for me because I was falling in love with him, and he was falling in love with me, and we were getting to know each other, and it was just... It's a fun time. Four, which makeup trend do you prefer? Dark lips or winged eyeliner? I'm not a dark lip type of girl. Um, I'm not saying that I can't pull it off. I think I maybe could because I'm darker skinned. Um, but I just, I feel really uncomfortable and um, I don't really like to feel uncomfortable. So I, I'm a winged eye type of girl, which I'm not like extreme wing. I'm just like a little bit to make my eyes a little bit bigger. Five, best fragrance for fall. I actually have two fragrances for fall that I really like. And one of them isn't actually the fragrance. This isn't going to make sense to you. But my first one is my tried and true Stella McCartney Lily. I love this. It smells it smells so good. It's my favorite scent. I wear it year round. I can't say it's my favorite like just fall scent because it's my all year round scent that I love so much. So I love this. My husband loves it too, which he never really ever gives me opinions on things, but he's strongly opinionated about this. He loves it. The second one would have to be um, the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. This one, when I say that it's not my favorite fall scent, it's because this isn't really my favorite fall scent. My favorite fall scent is Guess Gold, which this smells exactly to the T like. I have worn Guess Gold since, oh my gosh, I think I was in high school, like 18 I found it and I started wearing it. It was my tried and true when I'd go to work, um, people would be like, oh Kelly's here because they could smell me. Like that was just my signature smell. I always smelled like Guess Gold, I loved it. This smells exactly like it. And wouldn't you know, Guess Gold is no longer sold anymore. It is discontinued. If I wanna buy it, I have to pay an arm and a leg, which basically Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb is an arm and a leg. I have not decided whether or not I love it that much that I wanna buy it again but when guess gold was being sold for like $70 a bottle like that was my thing that was my stuff and I miss it so much so that would have to be my fall like actual perfume but Victor and Rolf smells exactly like it so this little sample deluxe bottle that I got from Sephora will have to do so that will be those two are my fall favorites most oh what is the next one six favorite Thanksgiving food all food I love food I will eat it all day long 
I love, love, love Thanksgiving because it's just like there's food out everywhere all day long. I can just, you know, graze at the table. I love it. My favorite Thanksgiving food would have to be a tie between stuffing and this scalloped corn that my mom makes. It's just delicious. I don't know what she puts in it. I could probably make it myself, but it just tastes so much better because she makes it. Um, but those would have to be my favorites. Oh, and pumpkin pie. Mmm. I will eat a whole pumpkin pie right now in front of you if somebody gave me one. I love it so much. Seven, what is autumn weather like where you live? We live in the Midwest and global warming has decided to make the last few falls crazy. It is rainy, it is sometimes warm, it is sometimes cold, it's already snowed. It's, 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 you never know what you're gonna get. It's crazy. It's cold and warm and whatever. Uh, eight, most worn sweater. That would have to be this sweater. Um, I can't really show you because Kai is in my lap, but it's just this really comfy, I think I talked about it in my fall favorites video, it's like a flash dance kind of sweater. I love it. It's kind of fitted, but it's loose at the same time. It's not too long. I got this from H&M. I bought the light gray one that I wore in one of my previous videos in Chicago, and then when I got home, I went back and I bought the dark gray one because I love my, like, monochromatic colors. Like, I love, I love grays, blacks, just, I don't, I'm very boring. But I like it because it's kind of off the shoulder, so it's kind of not sexy. I won't say that because I'm a mom. I can't really be sexy sexy <laughs> on the day-to-day -day. Um, but it's just like feminine but it's also just comfy and loose and I don't know I really like it and it's comfortable and it's warm so that would have to be my favorite sweater must have nail polish for this fall you guys know me I can't just pick one nail polish because I have like lots of favorites I love my nail polish I change it often I've been wearing this nail polish for the past week and a half and it's looking real my it looks bad right now I can't believe I'm gonna show you it but this is what it looks like. It's like a pinky, rose gold, sparkly color. Um, this is not just fall favorite, but this is probably winter as well. But this is by OPI. It is part of the Christmas um, collection. It's called Make Him Mind. It's one of the liquid sands. I really like the liquid sands. They're very pretty. But I love this color. This is just a great color. And it's been on my nails for a week and a half, and it hasn't chipped or anything. Like, it's just outgrowing. I need to change it. So that's one. My next fall favorite I mentioned in a video as well. It's called First Date at the Golden Gate. This is by OPI as well. This is, I think, part, part of the San Francisco collection. I love it. It's a very deep, it's just like a burnt red. Ooh, don't play with the Mommy's Expensive Perfume. You can play with the nail polishes. Next two I mentioned in my fall favorites as well. These are by Revlon. I, I like the Moon Candies in general, but this is my favorite color, which is why I have two of them. This is in Satellite. It makes a really pretty, if when you layer them, it makes a pretty, like, opal-y, gold speckled like it's just really pretty there's pictures on my Instagram and stuff of it but these are really cool and then my last two are Essie of course my favorite brand um, Wicked which is a very deep 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 red it's so gorgeous um, it I think it looks best on a shortcut nail but whatever I love it and then of course my tried and true don't sweater it which is like a gray taupey color um, so those are my favorites oh look she gave me a gummy 10 football games are jumping in a pile of leaves I don't really care for football. I know everybody, like some people are probably like shocked because we live in the Midwest. Everyone in the Midwest should be obsessed with football. No, I am not a huge football fan. My whole neighborhood, they have like inflatables of the team that we're known for here and they go up every game day. I just, I just don't understand. Like I feel like some people get into football too much. Like I like going to football parties. I like, you know, whatever. But I mean, the people in our area are like crazy insane. I was about football and it's kind of just like, I guess I just don't get it. But I am not a football fan. I am also not a jump in the leaves kind of girl. I used to be, but then it took um, some bugs in my hair, not like ticks, not like lice, but just bugs in my hair after I came inside to make me not be a leaf jumper anymore. So I am the love being outside love watching people be, you know, jumping in the leaves and a hot coffee in my hand or cocoa or tea sipping type of girl. Skinny jeans or leggings? I am going to offend so many people right now, but leggings are not pants. <laughs> I am so tired of seeing people wear leggings, especially little teenage girls, wear leggings outside of their homes in public with short shirts like they are jeans. They are not pants. They are leggings. They are thicker than tights. That's what they are. They are leggings. Now if you want to wear them underneath a dress, awesome. A long sweater that covers your butt, even better. But they are not pants. They are not a substitute for pants. I don't need to be seeing your camel toe and I don't need to be seeing up your butt. Like I'm sorry. That is not something that I need to be seeing. 
there. I mean, I love leggings. They're comfortable. I'll wear them around my house, you know, but would I ever go out in public like they were pants? No siree, unless I had like a dress or a sweater dress or just a long sweater covering it, but they are not pants. So hands down, skinny jeans, skinny jeans. And if I offended you, I'm so sorry. I just, I just feel like Somewhere along the lines, somebody was like, hey, I'm gonna wear these out in public and then everybody followed suit and it's just not not so good. Combat boots or Uggs? I love the look of combat boots. People who can pull them off, I think they're so cool. I don't think I can pull them off. I'm very self-conscious about that, but I love my Uggs. And I understand people think Uggs are ugly, but those people have never mm -hmm. worn them. They are the ugliest, mm -hmm. most comfortable mm -hmm. thing I've ever worn. I am sorry, I am that person who wears Crocs out in public as well. So if you want to hate on me for Uggs, let's talk about the green, lime green Crocs that I wear out in public during the summer. I love my Uggs. I've had four pairs in my lifetime, the classic cut. I don't like to roll them down, but I love them. They're so comfortable. They're so warm. Like they last forever. Like I know they're expensive. I think the classic ones are like $200, but I've had one pair, one of my pairs for like six years. And then I've had the other ones that I wear for like three. And then I might get a new pair this year, but in a leather form, but they're just so comfortable and warm. So I don't care if they're ugly. They're comfortable. 13 is pumpkin spice worth the hype. If this question would have been asked to me last year, I would have said, hands down, yes. This year, I'm gonna have to say, no, I don't think it's worth the hype. And why I say that is because the Starbucks in our area, actually, I won't even say in our area because even when I was in Chicago at the airport, I no joke had two pumpkin spice lattes from two different Starbucks in the same exact airport, and they did not taste the same. The inconsistency between baristas at Starbucks is, I think, just make the pumpkin spice latte um, not as good as it used to be. I, I go and I just, some of them are just too pumpkin-y or not pumpkin-y enough or watered down. And so in my opinion, pumpkin spice lattes, I don't think they're worth the hype. <gasps> Somebody's gonna throw water on you and I'm gonna start melting. But no, I don't, if you would've asked me last year, I would've said yes, but for some reason this year, the consistency has just not been on enough. And I think if the pumpkin spice latte is not made the exact way it should be made, it just is not worth the, what is it, like $5 for like a tiny cup. 14, favorite fall TV show. I never talk about TV with you guys, and the reason why I have been kind of MIA on commenting on videos and stuff like that is because my fall favorite shows are on. So I have been kind of using my time instead to watch YouTube videos, which I apologize, but I've been using it to catch up on my Hulu, on my TV shows. So some of my fall favorites, guys, like I wanna show you the nail polish again. My fall favorites, which if you wanna make fun of me, go right ahead, I don't care. I have such an eclectic taste of just TV, Parenthood, Parenthood, hands down, one of my all-time favorite TV shows. They have such a dysfunctional but workable family, and that is exactly what my family's like. I am the youngest of four. I am adopted. My sister's adopted. I, my sister is a lesbian. You know, she's in a serious relationship. My mom is a OBGYN nurse practitioner. My dad is a minister. My brothers, there's just craziness there too. Like, we have a dysfunctional family, but we work. So I love watching shows like that as well. Um, also, there's just, the dynamic is just amazing, and I just, I don't know. And then Lorelai is on there. I don't know her real name, but you know, I grew up watching um, Gilmore Girls, especially when I was pregnant. I used to watch the seasons over and over again, just dreaming of my relationship with my daughter being like that. Minus like all the boyfriends and sex that Rory, Rory gets involved with. I don't need any of that in my life. But I started watching the show because she was in it and now I just have fallen in love with it. So that is a fall favorite and I talked about that way too long. Uh, Parks and Rec would have to be a favorite of mine. It's shocking to me how many people actually don't watch that show. I think it is hilarious. I like to watch Covert Affairs. I know that's, it's on the, I don't remember what channel it's on, but it's got Piper, Paribo, Paradiba, Piper something in it, that girl from Coyote Ugly, which I did not like her in that movie, but she's decent in this show. I watch the Michael J. Fox show. I don't know why I like it so much, but I like watching it. I love Michael J. Fox. I grew up watching Spin City and I thought he was so funny and I just, I don't know, I watched that show. I had, I have to admit, I do still watch Glee. I don't like Glee, I think it's going downhill, but I do still watch it just because it's like fluff that I can fall asleep sleep too. I also watch Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Um, as you guys know, I, well first off it's an exciting show and I love like those suspenseful kind of dramas and uh, Mishka Hargitay, Hargitay is like my woman crush. Like she is just, I love her. 
Um, so if you're watching, which you're not, but I love you in a creepy, creepy way. I just love that show. I've watched it since like I was allowed to watch it. It's been on air for like what, 10 years now? Um, and also like I was getting I'm off track, of course, like usual. Um, as you guys know, I, I am, I was sexually abused as a child. So I think I get this like secret satisfaction of watching the show and seeing them like catch people who do bad things like that. And it just makes me kind of feel good to see that there is like, ah! I was like, we're done talking about that subject. Um, anyways, so yeah, it makes me feel good to see like the bad guys being caught. So that's weird. I don't know why I just told you all that. Another show that I really like watching is New Girl. Oh my gosh, Winston is the funniest. The funniest like character in that whole show. I don't care what you say. I do watch Modern Family. Again, it's those, you know, dysfunctional families that work kind of shows. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I've started watching that. It's really funny. I sound like such a couch potato. I'm really not. I've been watching Arrow since it came on because, um, I'm sorry, hunka hunka, who wouldn't watch it just for the guy? The Tomorrow People, I've started watching that. Um, just because I love sci-fi. Like, I love the, I love sci-fi. Let's just get that out there. I like watching, you know, um, ridiculous shark movies. I like, I'm obsessed with X-Men. I grew up, like, being that comic book X-Men nerd with my brother. Um, you know, witches, mermaids, the more, like, mythical or ridiculous, I love it. Um, so I love the Tomorrow People. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I've been watching that. It's not very good. I don't think it's very good at all. I'm very disappointed with it. I think they could have done a lot more with that show, and I just think it's terrible. The Mindy Project, oh my god, Mindy Kaling is like so funny, I love her. Um, the Goldbergs, if you haven't watched that show, it's funny. See, I told you, my taste in TV shows is so eclectic. Um, Once Upon a Time, I of course watched that, though I feel like that show is also going a little downhill, um, but we'll see. Uh, Nashville, I'm obsessed with Nashville. If you saw the most recent episode, hello, what was that ending? I was not expecting that. I was not at all. Um, the originals, I started watching that because of course, again, made up, vampires, love it. I like that it's not like Twilight vampire-y, I like that it's like hardcore, like werewolves and, you know, vampire vampires. I hear that I should be watching Vampire Diaries, but I watched one episode of that and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't sit through it. I'm not quite sure why. Oh, you wanted something to drink? Kaya's getting cranky, I gotta get this uh, going. Um, I've also been watching... Uh, Master Chef. I love my cooking shows. Um, Junior Master Chef. I was like addicted to that until it was ended. Uh, Trophy Wife is hilarious. I've been watching that. Uh, Beauty and the Beast because, well, again, science fiction. Super fun night. That's kind of funny. It's getting there. Hopefully, it'll get there better. Welcome to the Family. Hilarious show. Hilarious. Again, you guys are like you got you have terrible taste in TV is what you're thinking right now. And that's pretty much it. That's all of my like watch history for the past like two months. But those are the shows that are my favorite. The last question I believe was something like what song gets you into the fall mood? Um, I don't really have like a fall, like a, I mean, I don't know. I don't really have anything. I guess Halloween music. I think what gets me in the fall mood is like the smell and the chill in the air, not really a song. So, that is my fall sweater weather tag. It's super long and I apologize and I got my little like, doesn't she look like a baby cow, like a calf with her bottle and she's gonna, <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna edit this down so hopefully it's not too terrible. Um, I have another tag I have that I did. It was my 50 random facts about me tag, but I don't know if I'm gonna put that up because it's pretty long and boring. And then I have some more cooking vlogs that I'm gonna put up as well. Oh, and uh, if I have to tag people, let's see. I tag, I never do this. I never actually tag people. I'm gonna do that this time. I tag um, Samantha at Samaj, I don't know how to pronounce your YouTube channel name, S-A-A-A-M-A-G-E, I think. Um, I also tag Lisa Things This Week. Um, I tag, let's see, a Wild Riley appears, I already did it. I need to look on YouTube. Who do I tag? See, this is why I never tag people, because I feel bad. I always leave people out, or, and it's not because I'm trying to be mean, I just forget. Um, I tag Lindsay at Linzer722. I tag um, Courtney at The Court Report, Alicia at Chickachoo. I also tag uh, Karen at Beauty Bump, YouTube Beauty Bump, I think is her new, is that your, your channel name, Karen? I don't know. I know you as Karen. I don't know you as a YouTube name. Let's see. Who else can I tag? This is fun. 
I also tag um, Allie Page 1099. Um, also, uh, Caitlin Grayson. I know that you are so busy with work and your daughter, so I will not be offended if you do not do this. I won't be offended if anybody doesn't do this, but it's just fun to actually like tag people because I never tag people. I also tag Kidney Baby, Miss Ella TV, Mommy Abroad. I tag you. And I tag um, Avon Lee 80 So there you go. I tag all of you guys to do this tag. If you don't do it again, I won't be offended. I know you guys have lives. Um, but I never have tagged anybody before. If I left anybody out, I'm really sorry. It's not because I didn't want to see you do it. It's just because I am like already 20 something minutes into this video. So I will talk to you all later and I can't wait to see your videos. Um, I tag all of you, I guess, if, I've, if whoever wants to do this. I wasn't tagged and I still did it. So um, that's me. Want, want. Nobody wants to play tag with me, except for myself. Um, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.